every time you go out and you're fishing and it applies to all bodies of water and that is really pay attention to that first depth change because a lot of times we think that we have to focus on a big change in depth you know five feet to 20 feet that type of stuff but that first depth change can be super subtle it could be just the tiniest of ditches running through a flat so this is where if you have some visibility in the water we can see these things otherwise you've really got to be focusing with your electronics to find these or if you're a shore angler i like to use some sort of heavier lure like a big texas rig or jig and feel around out there and see if i can feel these depth or contour changes this is a really really good thing to focus on especially if you're trying to target a little bit bigger fish i don't know how many times i've been fishing where when i find that a little bit offshore something that's just got a little bit of deeper water access to it the quality of fish that i catch usually increases right away had a trip up on the mississippi river where we were catching you know one pounders right up tight to the shoreline backed off to that little bit of a depth change a little bit deeper water and immediately upgraded the two plus pound fish almost instantly and here's why these are you know just so important in all the filming that i've done underwater these types of slight contour changes to a little bit deeper water provide travel highways for the bass okay it creates edges natural creatures love edges and they travel edges all the time this is also often where two different types of cover are going to intersect because because you know maybe you've got some vegetation where that little bit deeper water then it, that vegetation stops growing there or it's often going to be on a ledge going into a creek channel or something so it just provides an easy escape route it provides a travel corridor and all kinds of aquatic life use these to move around in the body of water and when the sun gets really high in the sky it's often this first break that they will move back to especially if there's not a lot of great shady shoreline type options i see this a ton in crystal clear water is they will pull off to that depth change and go down a little bit just because it's out of the sun's intense rays and this is also something I check during cold fronts. One of the things that's really shocked me in my last two years of filming bass during cold fronts is they don't move as far as at least I initially thought, okay? Usually whatever type of cover they're holding on or that structure piece they're holding on, they'll just move down to the bottom edge of it. So they might only move horizontally you know 10 15 feet but they drop down three or four feet i've seen this over and over again so finding that first break or being aware of that first break is so helpful especially when those dreaded cold fronts come through and hey, if you'd like to watch a video that talks about something we need to do with our crankbait fishing that can be very helpful for fishing these travel type corridors, make sure you watch this one right here and make sure you go out and encourage someone today as well. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.